If you have ever attended boarding school in Nigeria or are currently in one, you must have heard of the story about the ghost of Madame Koi Koi. Who was she? And how did she come about the name? Bring your seat and sit down. Let me demystify the history. This story happened around 1993. It was said that the woman who later came to be known as Madame Koi Koi was a fashionable teacher in one of the federal government colleges, though the exact school name was not disclosed. Madame Koi Koi was fashionable. Her trademark fashion statement was lips painted blood red, which was equally matched with a pair of red colored high heel shoes. They made customary Koi Koi as she walked on the concrete floor. The sound of her shoes initiated the name. But she was just as hostile as she was fashionable. She beat students up at the slightest fault, usually hot slaps. That was how she was hated by students who plotted to have her sacked. When the students protested, voicing out for the school to sack her, the PTA pressured the school authority to fire her after a certain student she slapped ruptured her eardrum and whose parents were very influential. As a result, she was relieved of her job, though she was very bitter about it. Upon packing her belongings and making her way home, because she lived in the staff quarters, she was involved in an accident and died. But before she died, she vowed with her very last breath to avenge the ill done to her by the student and the school authority. The affected girl, I mean the girl she slapped that made her to lose her job, was later withdrawn from the school by her parents because Madame Koi Koi has been on the hunt for her ever since, coming out only at night because her face was badly damaged in the accident. Being a fashionable person, and her hatred was not only reserved for the girl, but for everybody in her student since they were the ones who plotted her sack and whom to her are representative of the worst sort of students ever. Hence, students were instructed to stay indoors at night after lights out, for that was the hour of her hunt. In the night, she comes out in vengeance and the students in their hostess get frightened as they hear the sound of her shoes making koi koi noise in the corridor of the hostel as she proceed in a soul hunt. It is said that if you hear her coming, stay in your room. If a student ever comes out during this time, that student is gone. If you have more light to share in this story, kindly feel free to send your comments on this video. See you in my next video.